this is an amazing sight. Uh, a room full of people this this large from all over the country, and I think with only a couple of exceptions, I could I recognize every one of you, if not at least be able to call you by name. That's a that's a feeling that uh, I can't describe. I'm sure that very few people uh, with my few years of experience in the, the real world after college could uh, state something like that. Uh, just wanted to explain just a little bit about why I'm here. Uh, I don't know how many of you know the story, but uh, the Air Force had a new program out called the Early Out Program. And uh, as has been kidded about, I've I enjoy computers quite a bit, and uh, I've been trying to build a business on the side and have something I want to try to go out and accomplish. So I thought I would uh, apply for this early out. I was supposed to be in the Air Force at least up through November of this year. And uh, most of the people in the in the offices were betting against me, especially, especially Colonel Becker. <laughs> He was sure I wouldn't get it approved. In fact, he wasn't even making any plans to replace me. <laughs> I think that's why he's on his back. <laughs> but, uh, and the Air Force, uh, just a few days before Christmas, called me up and told me it had been approved. So it was kind of a fast uh, effort. But uh, we're, we're off to new, new things, my wife and I. I want to publicly, before I say anything else, thank her for all of her support. While we've been here, there's been a lot of times with the resource selection and trying to get reports out, spend some extra hours at the office. I haven't ever heard a complaint from Dixie, so I just want to publicly thank her for all of her support. We couldn't have done it without her. And uh, boy, it didn't take me all night to thank everyone here. And uh, there's something I could say about each one of you. Let me just pick on a couple of I feel really uh, special Speak feeling. Speak a little for. louder. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell both sets of contractors, uh, the Accurex folks and the Rockwell folks, how much of a joy and pleasure it's been working with each one of the group of you and all of their subcontractors. Uh, had great experiences that I'll never, never forget. Learned a lot from every one of you, and uh, I thank you for that. Uh, these other two guys sitting up here on the head table, uh, we kind of all got there at the same time. I lagged the other two by a few months. We've kind of all gone through growing pains together. I basically skated on these two guys' tails. Uh, every time it came to any type of acquisition, Brian always had everything done, so I just had to copy what he did. <laughs> uh, so if there's any mistakes in the pyro program, you see some John got me to Japan, so I can't say anything bad about him. <laughs> uh, a couple of great guys to work with, not to mention everybody else in the office. Uh, really had a good experience with each one of you, especially Tom. <laughs> this guy's had two days to come up to speed on Pyro. <laughs> He's going to do a great job. I thank him. I second what Joe said. This has been a great night. We couldn't ask for anything better. Thanks for all your help and effort. Uh, last of all, uh, I'd like to turn my comments to Captain Powell. Uh, when, when I first got here, the I was kind of... Uh, Overwhelmed, as Colonel Keel has already said, uh, small farm boy from northern Utah in this big, big man's Air Force, and uh, sort of scared, not knowing what to do. And uh, Joe knew exactly what to do with me. He threw me right in, gave me a briefing, told me to go up and talk to the colonels, spent weekends rehearsing me. Uh, I can't think of a time when. I wasn't up against something hard, but he wasn't right behind me. And uh, I've learned a lot from him, learned a lot as far as leadership, management styles, just basic friendship. 
And I don't think tonight would be right if I didn't close my comments with thanking him for all I've learned. And uh, I know that no matter where I go, I'll learn a lot. Or I'll, I will take everything that I've learned from you and apply it with whatever I do. Thank you all for coming. Thanks, Tom. One of the one of the things I had to do when I first got here was worry about going away parties. <laughs> uh, one of the things I did endlessly was uh, Greg Keller's going away, Bill Duncan's going away. Uh, it was a uh, interesting project to put one of these together, and you did a great job. I just wanted to say thanks to uh, basically to the whole program. Uh, it's been a great experience. I got to do some things that I wouldn't have gotten to do elsewhere. I got to work on a program which is of uh, incredible importance to our ability to maintain a strategic deterrent. In fact, I would argue, and since now I got the microphone, I got the microphone. No. Okay. Wait, where's the soapbox, Joe? Uh, I would like to tell everybody that's on the team right now that uh, Ray Walker is going to be taking over. And Ray is a person whose background and experience, I think, deserves your full measure of respect and effort to help him out. I think he's doing, going to do a great job, and I think the uh, program needs a person like that. And uh, I think things are going to work out well. Unfortunately, I'm not quite as big a computer nut as Ralph is, so things are not documented very well. <laughs> So if it looks like he's making it up, he is. <laughs> once again, everybody, thanks for coming. And uh, it's been really great seeing you all once again. Thanks a lot. I think you folks are all going to be kind of lucky tonight. I'm motivated to, to be short. Uh, that crowd in the back, you better move away from the restaurants here. <laughs> and it could be dangerous in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't believe four, almost four and a half years has, has gone by so quickly, and particularly my association the past couple of years with the people on all the optical programs and ERPA, the Textron people. We've had just some incredible times together, and I don't know how to describe it, and I'm sure they don't want to hear about it, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, the one thing I'm going to take with me more than anything else, I think, has just been the atmosphere in that office. And I think many people will attest to the fact that when you walk into MYEP, you're walking into an office that is completely unlike any other. In fact, I would challenge people when they walk in Friday morning, tomorrow morning, to look up when they get in. They're going to see something different. They have kits in to thank for that. <laughs> For those of you who haven't been in the office recently, we decorated it. There's a satellite hanging from the ceiling. It's different. And, and that's what I can say about the people, too. Uh, it's, it's been incredible to get exposed to such talented and, and motivated people. I can't believe I'm ever going to run into such a group again. If I am, I'm going to count myself very, very lucky. Uh, The one real person I, I, I've got to thank is, is Joe Powell, without question. Uh, for those of you who have seen our view graphs and can't tell our handwriting apart, it really has been because he has been my mentor. And he accused me of being Butch, but he was Butch Powell first. <laughs> right, Joe? He went to SOS and came back a different person. <laughs> He has made a real difference in, in just my approach to things, and I have been accused of being casual about certain things, and, and damn it, I can't seem to be doing anything important when Colonel Keel walks in lately. <laughs> but I swear, there have been things I have done in the past. <laughs> To each and every one of you who have had a part in, in my four and a half years here, uh, I sincerely thank you. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to understand what I learned here. I hope I will at one time. Uh, it really has been an honor and a pleasure. Thank you.